Wallabies head coach Dave Rennie has announced the 2021 Wallabies squad on the weekend. Uh, this is a preliminary team. It's uh, subject to change. A lot of the international players are still away and they're not available for selection. Michael Hooper, the Australian captain, is still in Japan, so he's actually not on the list. And Dave Rennie has made it pretty clear in his interviews that later on in the year when the international actually starts, there will be changes to the squad. But this is the preliminary list and uh, there are a lot of young players as you can, uh, as I will go through and you will see. A lot of uncapped players and uh, yes, the the team, it's going to be looking like they're building towards the Rugby World Cup. And uh, they're trying to bring up a lot of new players. So, there are a total of 513 test, cap, test caps. Uh, the average test cap is 12.8. So, pretty inexperienced team. The average age is very young for the team. 25 years of age. And there are 14 players uncapped. Which, you know, that's... That's almost a third, that's, you know, more than a third of the team has never played for the Wallabies before. So, it's looking like Dave Rennie has his mind a bit further into the future than the upcoming internationals uh, later on in the year. And uh, overall, there are 14 Brumbies players, 12 Reds players, 7 Melbourne, uh, 7 Rebels players, 4 Waratahs players... And three Western Force players. Uh, this is kind of reflects how the Super Rugby is going on right now. The top two teams has most of the selections. And uh, the teams that are further behind has fewer selections into the squad. Anyway, let's go through the list. Uh, first, this is uh, done in, I think, alphabetic order in with their NAS name. So, Alan Alatoa has a brother that plays for the Crusaders. And uh, plays for... Uh, internationals for Samoa. So Alan Atoa, the the brother for the Wallabies, he's plays for, he plays for Brumbies. He's 27 years of age, 43 caps already for the Wallabies. He's pretty experienced. He's a very good tight head, and he's he's done pretty well for Brumbies this season. He's 187 centimeters tall and 125 kilos. He's a quite a big boy. Team and Ansty, uh, he's plays for the Western Force. Zero caps. He's 23 years of age. He's 191 centimeters tall and 98 kilos. He plays for Flanker. He's one of the few, one of the three players that selected for Western Force, and he's a, a youngster. So they're looking for him to, to you know, they're looking at the future prospect from his perspective. Tom Banks. He's 26 years of age. Plays for Brumbies. He has 11 caps. He played pretty well last year for Wallabies. He's a pretty good long-range kicker. He's 186 centimeters tall, 93 kilos. He plays fullback, and he's a Brisbane boy, and he went to school in Brisbane Boys College. Angus Belt, 20 years old, plays for Waratahs. He has three caps, 192 centimeters tall, 121 kilos. He's a prop. Filippo Dagunu, he's a Reds prospect, plays 26 games, uh, 26 years of age. He's played five games last year. He's Red's performance was very good last year, and he's looking to improve on that. And his Wallabies debut last year was pretty decent with a draw in Wellington. But uh, yeah, he's very very good prospect. He's 175 centimeters tall, 91 kilos. He plays for the he plays on win. Uh, Pone Fire Ma Mau Silly. He's 24 years old. Plays for the Melbourne Rebels. He's has he's a debutant. He's not 196 centimeters tall, 130 kilograms prop. He's a big, big, big unit. Jack Gordon, 27 years old, new, plays for New South Wales Waratahs. He has five caps, 183 centimeters, 87 kilos, and he plays for uh, he plays as a halfback. Reese Hodge, 26 years of age, he's playing for the Melbourne Rebels. He already has 45 caps, very, very experienced. Uh, he's one of the more experienced players in the team. Not very, very experienced for international standards. He's 191 centimeters tall, 94 kilos. He's plays, I think, every position in the backs. He's an uh, excellent player, um, extremely good long-range kicker. Uh, Rhys Hodge is, uh, was my player of the year last year. He uh, really stepped up into the plate and fulfilled big roles in the, in the number 10 position. So, very happy to see Rhys Hodge. Trevor, I mean, no surprise. Trevor Ho Hosea, 
num- uh, 21 years old, plays for the Victoria Rebels. He has zero caps at debutant. He's two meters and three centimeters tall, and he's 115 kilos, and he plays lock. He formerly went to Brisbane Boys College, another boys college um, uh, old boy. Len Ikitao, he's 22 years old. He plays for the Brumbies. He has zero caps. He's 108 meters, 180 centimeters tall. He's 90 kilos and he plays center. Filetti Kaitu, he's 26 years old. He plays for Western Force, one of the few Western Force players. Again, he's debutant. He has never played for the Wallabies. He's 183 centimeters tall. He's 110 kilos and he has uh, two, uh, he plays uh, hooker. The uh, Josh Kem- Kemeni, Josh Kemeni. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Twenty-two years of age. He plays for the Melbourne. He plays for Melbourne Rebels. Zero caps. One hundred ninety-three centimeters tall. One hundred ten kilograms, and he plays uh, flanker. Marika Corumbetti, twenty-eight years old. Melbourne Rebels. 30, 34 caps for the Wallabies. One hundred eighty-one centimeters tall. And uh, 96 kilos. He play. He's uh, he plays uh, number 14. Uh, plays blindside winger. Noah Lolasio, 21 years old, Brumbies. Two caps of Wallabies. He is 180 centimeters tall, 89 kilograms. He plays number 10. He had a bit of a bad start last year, but I don't think it was his fault. Plenty of talent. Good way to see. He could be the next starting Wallabies. Fly hub after the you know current generation moves on, so a very very good future prospect, very young, and uh, he he went to the the Southport School in Brisbane in down in the Gold Coast. Lachlan Nolligan, uh, twenty one years old, Brumbies zero caps. He's one eighty centimeters, ninety nine kilograms. He plays hooker. Alex Murphy, twenty four years old, he plays for the Reds zero caps. Uh, he's one seventy seven centimeters tall. 107 kilos. He plays hooker. He's uh, an outstanding player. Really, really in form at the moment for the Queensland Reds. I think he might be the top try scorer in the Reds uh, in 2021. He came on the bench, off the bench, and scored three tries last week against the against the Western uh, against the Waratahs. So incredibly good, um, incredibly good on the field. He's very good at running. Very hard running, and he's very, very good in set pieces. So, very, very good prospect in the for the future. Alex Murphy, and he went to the uh, the famous St. Joseph's Naji College in Brisbane. Uh, Tate McDermott, 22 years old, red. He has two caps, 179 centimeters. He is 82 kilograms, and he plays nine. He's a uh, really good really form at the moment in, in Bris- uh, for the Reds. I think he probably should start over Nick White. Which we'll get to a bit later, and he's uh, yeah, incredibly young and talented. He's only 22 years of age, and he went to Sunny Coast Grammar School in Brisbane. Fraser McWright, 22 years old. He's plays for the Reds. He has one cap last year. He's 184 centimeters tall. He's 100 kilograms. He plays open side flanker. He went to Brisbane Grammar School. Uh, he's very, very, very good prospect as well for the Wallabies in the future. He's uh, quite talented, and he just needs more experience. Great selection there. Andy Muirhead, 27 years old, plays with Brumbies, zero caps, 183 centimeters tall, 84 kilograms. He plays for wing, and he went to uh, Brisbane State High School. Again, a lot of Brisbane boys in the team. Uh, E.C. Naisarani, 26 years of age, he plays for the Melbourne Rebels. He has eight caps, 195 centimeters, 110 kilograms. He plays number eight, a big, big, big boy. Uh, Caden Neville, 32 years of age. He plays for Brumbies. He's zero caps to get your Wallaby start at 32 years of age. That's uh, pretty, pretty good. He's actually a very big boy. 202 centimeters tall, 123 kilograms. And he plays the lock. And he, uh, he's a manly boy, plays his footy at manly. I think same, as, same with Rhys Hodge, actually. James O'Connor, 30 years of age, uh, plays for the Queensland Reds. 55 caps. 181 centimeters tall, 93 kilos. He plays. He's probably gonna be fighting for the number 10 position with Matt Tamara, and he went to the uh, St Joseph's Nagy College in Brisbane. He's uh, quite a quite a talent that's been around for a very very long time. Punter Paisami, 22 years of age, 
uh, plays for the Reds. He has six caps for the Wallabies, 172 centimeters, 90 kilos. That's very, very, very heavy for someone that's 172 centimeters. He plays inside center. Uh, he he was uh, uh, born and bred in Bruce, uh, in Melbourne. He's uh, quite a talent. And considering that rugby is not that big of a sport in Melbourne, to have him a homegrown talent from Melbourne is quite, quite impressive. Jordan Patea, 21 years of age, Reds. He has eight caps for the Wallabies, 190 centimeters tall and 98 kilograms. He plays outside center or inside center. And he went to the Brisbane State High School. David Parecki, 28 years of age, New so- uh, plays for the New South Wales Waratahs, zero caps, 185 centimeters tall, 108 kilograms. He plays hooker. Luke, Lucan Salakai, Salakai, Salakai. Salakai Lotto, Lukim Salakai Lotto. He plays. He's twenty four years of age. Reds. Uh, he's has twenty five. Guess twenty five caps for the Reds. I think he's got twenty five. Yes, twenty five caps for the Wallabies. He's one hundred ninety eight centimeters tall. He's big boy, one hundred twenty three kilograms, and he's uh, playing blindside flanker. He's Done pretty well this year with the Reds. Very good hands in the back line. And being able to chase... He has actually really good at chasing the ball. Pretty fast around the field. Yeah, overall, very, very good player. Very dynamic player. P. Samu, 29 years of age. Plays for Brumbies. He's got 10 caps. 185 centimeters. 102 kilograms. He plays uh, number 7. Irene Simone, 25 years of age. Brumbies. 2 caps. 193 centimeters tall, 102 kilograms. He plays center. Jam Sleeper, 31 years of age, plays for Brumbies, 100 test cap. He's the most senior person by far in the team. No one else is even close to the amount of caps he got. The, the other higher players were in the 50s. And he's 100 caps. He's 185 centimeters tall. He is 117 kilograms. He plays prop. And uh, he went to the the Southpaw School in Gold Coast. Uh, another Brisbane boy. Darcy Swain, 24 years of age, plays for the Waratahs, zero caps. He's two meters tall, 113 kilograms, and he's playing a lock. Uh, he also went to Brisbane, a uh, high school in Brisbane, Brisbane Boys College, another BBC boy. There's a lot of talents coming out of that school for some reason. It's uh, quite impressive. Uh, Lachlan Swinton, 24, New South Wales Waratahs. He has one cap, 195 centimeters tall, 112 kilograms. He plays flanker. He went to Knox Grammar School in Sydney. Sitaleki Tamani, Sitaleki Tamani, 34 years of age. He plays for the Western Force. He has 18 caps. He's two meters and three centimeters tall. He's 118 kilograms. He plays lock, and he played a lot of games in France in the top 14 previously before he joined the Western Force. Um, interestingly, the um, yeah, that's the last Western Force player that was selected, and um, Nasarani wasn't selected from the Western Force, which is a little bit interesting because he was previously a Wallaby player and probably not that informed at the moment to be selected, but later on in the year, maybe he will pick it up and make himself back into the team. Matt Tamura, 31 years of age, plays for the Rebels, 54 caps, 182 centimeters tall, 91 kilograms. He goes for number 10 or potentially play for center. He's going to be fighting hard with James O'Connor for the number 10 position. And he went to, again, a Brisbane school, Brisbane State High School. They, I think they he played James O'Connor in high school, actually. It's a... Uh, <laughs> Long-time rivals. Uh, Tenella Tupo, 24 years of age. He's only 24. Tenella, he's the uh, Tenella um, Tongan Thor. 24 years of age. Plays for the Reds. 25 caps for Wallabies. 178 centimeters, so he's not hugely tall. And he's 135 kilos. That's almost 300 pounds. For someone that's 178. That's... Five foot ten. He's my size, and he's he's my height, and he's one hundred and thirty five kilos. He's double my weight. 
almost double my weight, and he's my height. <laughs> so he's literally two double the size of me. They're like, if there's another me sitting like right next to me, that's literally how big he is. <laughs> <laughs> what a giant. He's such, oh my god, he's so big. He's so talented. Anyway, Tifo, oh, he's he's so good. He's so good right now. It's preposterous watching him play in the Super Rugby at the moment. Just, oh, he's just probably the, by far the best number um, tight head prop I have ever seen. You know, he and he's only 24. He can, and props don't peak till they're like 28, 30. So, yeah, he's probably going to get better. <laughs> it's scary to think he's already like by far the best in super rugby and probably the best in the world maybe Sinclair can be close I don't know uh, but yeah anyway uh, Seru Uru 24 reds 0 caps 97 centimeters 92 kilograms he plays number 7 uh, or number 6 I think he plays number 6 and he's uh He's had a really, really good season so far this year. He's really in form for the Reds. So it's really good to see that he get he got picked. Rob Valentini, 24 years old, Brumbies. He has four caps, 193 centimeters, 113 kilograms. He plays number eight or utility back. Uh, yeah, number eight. Plays number eight. Uh, Suliaisi Vinavalu, 25 years age, Reds, zero. He's a debutant. He is... A big prospect from Rugby League that's been brought over. He used to play Union, apparently, in school. So, it's not like he's never played before. And uh, he's 193 centimeters, 99 kilograms. He plays fullback. He's not quiet. So, the, the limits of the games that he's played so far, he's had... He's showed a little bit of weakness with his defense. And he's improved. He showed a little bit of weakness under the high ball. Like, he's a bit out of position. Uh, with his first few games, but he can definitely improve. He showed that his running game is incredibly good. He's he's a he's an absolute powerhouse when it comes to carrying the ball, and uh, he's super fast. I think he might have a s- slight hamstring tw- injury at the moment. We'll see how much that'll affect him into the future. But he definitely needs more experience. He's not exactly the Israel Falau level of talent from based on the games that we've seen, but. Israel Flau was terrible in defense as well. So, I mean, there's for all the league players that comes to Union, they do have a bit of a struggle to understand the positioning. But the fact that he used to play Union, I would think that he would adapt to being in the right, you know, not good, not being out of position for uh, for the Union game. I, I, I expect him to to have a much higher ceiling than Flau, despite the fact that Flau may be. Uh, in certain aspects, more has more, yeah, maybe a little bit better at the beginning, but I think later on, this uh, Vinovalu could be much, much better than Israel Folau. We'll have to wait and see. Nick White, 30, Brumbies, 37 caps, 175 centimeters, 80 kilograms. He's uh, placed for number nine. <laughs> Harry Wilson, 24, Reds, uh, six caps, 195 centimeters. 110 kilograms. He plays for... Uh, he's played number eight. And he went to St. Joseph's Gregory Terrace in Brisbane. Another Brisbane boy. Tom Wright, 23. Plays for Brumbies. Three caps. 186 centimeters tall. 98 kilograms. And he plays uh, fullback. And uh, that is the uh, preliminary Wallaby squad for 2021. Very young team. The It's good that I, I, I really support the direction that the coaches have taken. They're, they're, we are looking at building towards the Rugby World Cup. Even with the talents that we have, I think we're going to be very competitive just based on the form of Reds and the um, and the Brumbies. The set pieces are very good from both teams. The attack options are really good. The defense is very, very good from both teams as well. So just the core players from those two teams alone, I think we're going to be pretty, pretty competitive despite the fact that they are... Um, not that experienced into the national games. When when I've looked at the New Zealand talents from Super Rugby, the majority of their talent are in the Crusaders, and the Crusaders are really, really, really strong in their four pack. And one of the things with the Crusaders is that their four pack are so dominant. 
you can't really tell like how they will fare up against a team that is equally dominant. Whereas the the Reds and Brumbies are very similar in dominance in terms of their four pack. So when they play each other, you can tell that like how good the players actually are when they're under pressure. Whereas the Crusaders hasn't really been tested in the forwards so far this season. So the Crusader four pack looks incredibly good with the um with Scott Barrett in the locks and I think one of the the hooker, what's his name? It's really, really incredibly good. Um, what's his name? Cody Taylor, I think. Cody Taylor, I think his name. But yeah, the, the Crusaders four pack looks just incredible. The backline looks very smooth, but the the Blues have pretty good backline as well. And there's a few scattered really good backline players, like Aaron Smith plays for Highlanders. Um, McKinsey plays for Chiefs. Uh, what's his other name? Anton Leonard Brown also plays for Chiefs. So the backline from the Super Rugby, Arteora, is relatively, I would say, relatively close. Maybe the Crusaders is a little bit better. But the four-pack is really where Crusaders outright dominates the, their um, their opposition. And it's really, really hard to tell whether they're, that's just because the other four-packs aren't really as well drilled as they are. Or they're actually just that that much better than everyone else. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. And later on this year, when the Super Rugby Atiara play Super Rugby AU, we'll get a better idea of how these forwards actually fare up against each other. And um, yeah, we put, I am personally pretty happy with the team. And young team looks good for the future of Australian rugby. Brad Thorne's done some pretty good job in... Um, in Queensland Reds, raising a lot of homegrown talent. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this this video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate it.